and uh, get those joined up and then make sure that these edges and this back view and this top view are where they belong so W key move them up along probably right in this neighborhood and again it's just got to go back and forth and kind of play with these uh, verts and edges till they end up where they're supposed to be in all your views Okay, so we're going to do that, um, and then once you get to this point, um, we will continue on. Now again, you could just start pulling out this back part of the car by grabbing these edges. Z, click, moving them over, making sure that they're lined up in the views. Okay, so now continuing on, we're going to be working on a little bit on the front of the car. I know there's this really thin space right here, and I'm actually going to go into my single view so I can get see it a little bit better. And um, there's a very thin space here between the light and the wheel well, but I'm going to drag out this edge right here, clicking Z. Again, and then um, click on the screen, press W so I can move it, and I'm going to move it over here and just kind of see where we're at. I can rotate it around to kind of follow that line. And I'm going to take this polygon, I'm going to slice it a couple times. Shift C, and once in the middle, and then about halfway, oops halfway in between there and the end and then same thing on the other side um, just so I can kind of get that in the shape it's going to be a real small little space um, but I want to do it this way so that I can work around the light and uh, after I build the wheel well I may alter this a little bit but this is to give me an idea of uh, this, where this line is here right now in 3D space. So I'm working my way around. I'm going to make this very thin. And now that I got that in there, I'm going to go ahead and select those polys. Just go on my top view here, make sure they're in the right spot. Make sure they look like they need to be scaled in just a touch. So do that. Alright, then we'll go back into my model quad and see how this is looking. Uh, not too bad. Okay, now I want to bring this edge down. Same procedure. Right to about there. Let's go back to my single view so I can actually see it larger again. I might turn that smidgen. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to work that edge down. there, shift, click, oops, Let's put this down here, It's more or less following that curve, and then in the front, 
Move on to my model quad so I can see the front of the car. And see, here's where we start getting into our little problem. One of the things I wanted to show you is right now there's a bunch of uh, edges and verts here, and you can't really tell by looking at this front view or the back view for matter for that matter which is in the front, which is in the back. So basically, what I like to do in, in a case like this is I will go into my uh, perspective view, for example, and uh, just grab the front polys and press Shift H, which will hide everything else. So I kind of know exactly what I'm looking at. And now I can work in my front view and not have to worry about kind of screwing things up so let's move this over here start to move these over so they're in line with this line and then in my model back to my model quad I can start pulling these line these edges and I know everything's not really perfect here I'm kind of trying to work as fast as I can so I'm not taking too much time on each little portion of the car. I mean, from this point on, everything is pretty much a procedure of repeating the steps that I've been showing you um, and uh, extending edges out and putting the vertices and edges where they belong. There's a couple of other things that I did want to show you um, and that was one of them, um, was hiding the parts that uh, you're not working on so that stuff doesn't get kind of messed up in the front when you're working on the back and so on and um, the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, so now I can press H to hide everything and then shift H or excuse me control H to unhide everything and then everything's back uh, looks like we got um, let's see you gotta take these polys <clears throat> I got one in subdiv division and the rest not, so I get to select these, and unsubdivide. Okay, now I can subdivide everything, um, and uh, so that was one thing I wanted to show you. And then, of course, the other thing that I want to show you was how to pull out these little wheel wells here. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab some edges. I'm going to grab this edge and this edge, and then press my up arrow, which will select all the way around. Okay, and then I want to press Z and click. Then I want to press the R key, and then I can just scale these in. Also move them over a little bit. So they're kind of right where they need to be on that line. And we actually need to scale them out this way a touch. Okay, then obviously in the top view, we need to move them over. And then scale them to zero... Scale them to zero and just move back a touch. And there'll be a few here. Uh, vertices that need to be moved. Say in. See these ones, for example, need to be moved over. These ones need to be moved over. This one probably a little bit. And just kind of move this one in so that uh, the line is uh, a bit more even. And uh, this, some of these over here need to be move, moved in. Let's back out here slightly so we can see what's going on. And again, um, I'm going to be working on these front polys here, so I'm just going to, oops, going to get just grab these front ones and then press Shift H. So the other stuff isn't in my way, that way I can see a little better what I'm doing. Vertices, mode, move those ones, start to move in, and I can select them from the side view or the front view and I can kind of see where they're going. 